Intimidation, if you like. That they've prepared simultaneously. No, indeed. The Samoans waiting for the Thimby, led by Joely Vaitayaki. Joely out there as he did so well in South Africa. The big, massive body of the King Country prop who played in the Super 12. And there it is, and, Thimby, and now the Western Samoa swings straight into action. Fatialofa, and it looks like Tuvaenga in the leading position. And Fatialofa is said to be leading the Samoans for the last occasion. He's out there, he was given the, accorded the privilege of being able to uh, enter the ground before any of the other players. And here we have it, yes, Tuvaenga was out there as the other leader of the game and uh, other leader of their uh, war dance and we wait now for the start of it to see the commencement of our game western samoa versus fiji in the series 1996. Uh, waiting then and it's fiji to kick off and as we saw in south africa it looks like Sarevi is going to be the man who will set the game in motion for fiji taking the kicks from halfway and at the 22. And here we have Sarevi taking the southern end of the ground at the center field. The referee, black jersey, Samoa in their blue, Fiji in their white jerseys, Sarevi with hand up, so too, Petty O'Brien. And there is the opening kick from Sarevi and straight into it is the Samoans battle it backwards, taken back there by Pat Lamb in defense to start with. And the Fiji forwards pour through on top. And they're hunting for the ball, no sign of it coming out. And as Fiji takes the first scrum of the encounter with the non-emergence of the ball, it was held in there by Samoa. They didn't use it. And Paddy O'Brien has offered it to Fiji, five metres inside the 22. Uh, that's the 15-metre line from the grandstand side of the field. And this will be Sakofi Raluni to put it in for Fiji. And it goes, and hooked and held, Dan Rouse just holding it, controlling it at the back, rolling, he gets it and gets it away to Nicky Little. Nicky gets a double around and across, a double out wide, and good movement and out to Sarevi and onto the wings, and there goes 2 11, 2 11 and they haven't gone one minute. A beautiful piece of play, and the Samoans split aside right at the very beginning. Wonderful handling, and it was the movement across by Sarevi. Sarevi making the space, and his double, and the decoy, Sale Soravaki on the outside, Nicky Little moving it straight across, and Fiji in in the corner. I see a Tuilevi taking it. He had no room to move in, and did it so cleanly, and within a minute, Fiji leading Samoa by five points to nil. That brings back the Samoans on their part to have a chat. And here's Nicky Little, a metre outside the 22, a metre in from the uh, sideline. And uh, I see a Tuilevu, one up to Fiji. As we wait now for Nicky Little, very close to the sideline. There's not a breeze here on the National Stadium. It'll be all on his own metal. They're looking at it very carefully, but they turn it away. Fiji in the lead by 5 to nil. What a wonderful run. Nice piece of work. The decoy was there. The Samoans took the decoy, provided the space for Sarevi, coming in wide from the fullback berth, and as he did so, cleared it wide, and it was finished off brilliantly by 2 11. Here we have now, and uh, bye bye. Puts a long kick, taken by Smith. He's got room to work his way forward. Up he went, 10 metres outside the 22. Stand back, Samoa, said the referee, and Sarevi clears it towards the grandstand sideline. Driving Samoa back, an awkward kick. Will it get towards the touchline? Doesn't reach it. It's there to Messino. He's caught in position, though. He's got support. Manages to clear it away to Uvayenga. He sends a lob pass right across into the centre. It's a dangerous one, but infield then comes there, Pepe. He's caught and taken to the ground midway, 22 and halfway. Down on the ground it is, and Fiji's rummaging around it. No sign of it for the moment, and out it comes on the Samoan side. And here's Vabai, puts a long kick in, Sarevi coming across to cut it off, and slips to the ground, unable to cut it, and the ball into touch on the 22, goes back and recovers it himself, a long kick down there, Manasam Bari clears it back into touch, and the ball into touch, about uh, five metres inside the, the uh, Fiji half, on this grandstand sideline, and some good combination between Manasam Bari, sort of that ball, getting into touch, 
and certainly took the pressure off the Fiji line by his having done so. And here O'Brien calling for the space down the centre of the line as the Samoans curve away towards their side at the front for Fiji at number one jumper. Number one right at the very front is Amori Katalao and uh, the uh, high one and, and up high west and Samar have got a clear filly move uh, uh, on it goes that time to Leo Pepe up over the halfway line he didn't cross his own advantage line taken to the ground picked up then by Sokovi Sokovi on to Lawrence Little get the, not to Lawrence to Nicky Little down there goes 211 211 going right for the corner and a hurried uh, uh, race across there by Farmacino just managed to clear it into touch ahead of a flying Nandranga 211 and uh, Tuelevu actually speeding down that sideline. One gave him no chance to have got up as far as he did. And uh, Samoa back on their own goal line again, right in the corner. Fiji on the attack, and it's Smith to throw in. Near the front, a difficult take for Fiji. Let's put it in again, said the referee. He wasn't satisfied they were ready for the line out, and it'll go in once again. It'll be Smith once again to put it into the line out for Fiji. And uh, an interesting one. One notes just how tall. The Samoans are, they've found tall men and that's made a huge difference to the Samoan side. As in it comes into the line, up high, Cattelau gets it and they go around the front and a brilliant try. And around the front, Mark Black, Black got it, a beautiful one, a tap down near the front of the line and Mark Black is the man who did it for Fiji. And he did it, his army had time to raise his arm up high and Slam it to the ground with joy and black the man who got that try. What a brilliant one from the front of the line, from a controlled take by Katalau and a nice piece of play at the front of that lineout has given Fiji the advantage of 10 points to nil. Nicky Little, a kick from pretty near the same position as where the last one was, a metre outside the 22, a metre in from the terrace side of the field, in front of that pack terrace behind and we wait for Nicky Little to see if he can improve upon his last effort two tries play gone five minutes Nicky Little lifts it this time they're watching it carefully they still flag it away and it remains at 10 to nil. five minutes into the game and Fiji have blown Western Samoa's attempts out right at the very start of this game the huge crowd at the back thrilled at the effort of uh, Fiji in their lead over Western Samoa soon after the start. Again, a long kick from Fa'avai. It was a wrong kick from him, it was said. And goes uh, to Sarevi. Sarevi clears it towards touch. He doesn't find it into touch. A little bit of misunderstanding. That time Brian Lima puts a long kick in. It's allowed to go back towards the goal line and back there shadowing it over the goal is uh, Sarevi. Sarevi playing with him, knowing he's had time, and Brian Lima was uh, forcing Sarevi to touch. A drop out 22, Sarevi brings it into the centre of field. And we wait for Sarevi to set it alight again. Six minutes gone, Fiji 10, Western Samoa nil, and there is an, a, a, an unusual one, a, a deep one right down towards the 22, taken back there. Farmacino comes up to the 10 metre line, a little chip kick over the top, it's taken in there by Tamani Valu. He swivels like the top to the ground, sets it up nicely, Sokovi gets it, gets it out onto the open side, a difficult one across there, Nicky wasn't, neat, wasn't giving it neatly, across to Manasam Bari, but knocked forward, said the referee, when Manasam went to pick it up first time, and back we come for the scrum. The scrum to go down four metres inside Fiji's territory and 15 in from the grandstand sideline. This will be halfback Joe Falimu to put it in. Tamara got it hooked. It's held at the back and onto the short side and attack down there by Rouse. Rouse goes up after it and hesitates just the moment, but Manasam Bari's up there. Increases the pressure upon the Samoan defence and a race through there. A good effort from uh, 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 Dan Rouse, who managed to knock the uh, pass, pass down, charge it down, and uh, Samoa back on the heels again after they've won that scrum. 10 metres inside the 22, grandstand side of the field, and it's Greg Smith to put the ball in. Speaking to the referee, and a little problem there. We notice at the front of Pelly, Naituifau at the front for Fiji. Pelly then Katalau at number two. Back at three is Joeli. 
Four is, is Ephraim Itawaki, Dan behind him, and Dan lifts this uh, uh, Tawaki, and taken in by Sakovi. He goes and gives it straight out to uh, Sarai. Sarai Saravaki is dodging. He's 10 metres out from the line. Ball lost to the ground, and lost forward there, said the referee by Fiji. A nice break by Sale Saravaki, and Sale was just crowded as he himself probably tripped to the ground and lost the ball forward. And it's a Western Samoa put in defensively 10 metres out from the goal line. It'll be Phil Emu to put it in. He's got it in and it's overrun. And ball comes to the ground and scrambled up by Fiji. And then another try. Now the referee said too many hands on the ball. It was actually the ball that actually bounded off the, uh, the uh, post, the base of the post there. It was in no man's land. And it became a free ball for Fiji to dive upon. And here we've got Fiji in a wonderful attacking position. I notice some Bari going on to the short side. In it comes. And they go across to cover it though. And offside. Coming around too quickly. And attacking Fiji was Western Samoa's Sokovi went to gather that ball. They were surrounding him. And the penalty. And it will be a penalty shot at goal from straight in front. Fiji intent to make certain that they get points on the board against a Samoan side that at the moment is uh, a little bit uh, upset. They're, they're obviously not found their gate, and at this stage, it's Fiji with great strength. That try at the opening, and now the first penalty to Nikki. The penalty scored in the ninth minute of play. Nine minutes, and Fiji ahead by 13 points to nil. Penalty to Nikki. And so it's Fiji, Fiji, Fiji in the three opening scoring movements of the game so far. And there's another kick from Vai Vai. He's intent to put it into the centre field. Taken by Sarevi. Waste no time. Clears it back towards the grandstand sideline. And the ball bounds into touch. A high bouncing ball. And it finds touch 12 metres inside the Samoan territory. The game, all the games so far in the 10 minutes of it has been played in Samoan ground with only the kickoffs entering Fiji's space. Leosa to put the ball in for Western Samoa. In it goes and up high but it's tapped back neatly, nicely done there from Sene. And on wide to Uvang but he runs into trouble. They've got him and pulled him to the ground. Fiji surrounding it, and it's a penalty against Fiji. Hell ball in there, said the referee. We'll have the penalty to Western Samoa, where Fiji asked to go back 10 metres, and that is the description of the new rule given to us by Paddy O'Brien. The uh, defenders must be back 10 metres, must continue back 10 metres before they can enter the game again. Into touch. Eight metres inside Fiji's territory on the terrace side of the field. With, it will be Samoa's Leosa on, to put the ball in. Big gap down the centre there. Katalau at number two in the line. And it comes again and up high. It was a, a big jump from Stephen Smith. He wasn't able to get it cleanly, but eventually Samoa tidy it up. Through they go, but then more trouble there is for them. And back in goes the Western Samoans. Neatly done in there, Onahanga. Down onto the ground, back the other direction. Taken away there by Pat Lamb. He's got it alive and puts a kick into touch. And the uh, penalty against Fiji. A penalty against Fiji. Offside, said the referee. The penalty awarded five metres inside Fiji's territory and near to centre field. What some are going to do with it, with the penalty offered to them, 12, meters, 12 minutes into uh, the first half, and it looks as if it's going to be an attempt at goal for Avai. Avai Avai is to take the shot from almost level with the left hand upright and five meters inside Fiji's territory. For those who've just joined us, it was an explosive try within a minute of the opening of the game where I see a two elevu finished a backline movement for Fiji. Then there was a movement from the front of the lineup while Fiji were hard on attack, Black collecting the score. And the third was a penalty from Nicky Little in the ninth minute. And that took it on 13 points to nil. We've now gone 13 minutes, a point a minute so far, with Western Samoa, their first opportunity to score. High ball and a long ball. It looks a good one. It was a good strike. It's outside the left hand upright. 
Nobody touching it. A dropout 22, says referee Paddy O'Brien. We'll wait for the restart of play, Sarevi to do so. And uh, Sarevi already got the Samoans watching as to where he's going to put it. And again, it's a long kick. Way back 10 metres outside the 22 to Uvainga. He, he, no, it's not. It's Vai Vai. Puts a long kick and drives them back again. And the ball bit the, bit the ground. And across it went, almost at right angles to its flight. And into touch. Four metres inside the 22 on that terrace sideline. Samoa, their closest to attack so far in the game. Four metres inside Fiji's 22. Smith waiting for the call to get the advice of what his backs are going to do. See a little reorganization in the backs of Fiji as Smith to throw into there again and cut allow it two. And uh, we've got uh, Iferimi in at four behind him, Rouse ready to give him a helping hand. And back it goes, taken by Catalo, takes it in this time, held in there nicely. And uh, Fiji driving on the Samoans, rolling it uh, towards the uh, center field. They're continuing to progress forward and puts the Samoans quite a way back. And Raul Louis working his, his forwards well. They've gone over the 22 meter line and actually walking the Samoans back. Around the side goes Apelli Naituibau. They've gone to the ground. The Samoans smother the ball and the referee has said it is a, a Fiji put in. Some grand work in the forward line there by Apelli Naituibau taking them all with him as he burst away from the side of it and made progress up to almost midway 22 and halfway in Fiji territory. Rolluni to put it in. Held up at the feet. Rolluni gets it away out onto the open. A nice one to Nicky. And there Sale puts a long kick in this time. A long one angled towards the touch line. And again, driving Western Samoa back. The ball finding touch five meters outside the 22. And the ball out in front of uh, Messino. He covered it well, but couldn't cut it off. And uh, there was no option but to see the ball spin into touch on this grandstand sideline. 13 points to nil, 15 minutes gone. Uh, Leasa to put the ball in for Western Samoa, and it goes. And there was a little bit of uh, mistiming there. Western Samoa finally getting it, trying to work around to what is a Mori... Uh, Katalau couldn't get it, back it goes. The surprise that coming back to Onahanga, he burst his way through. Good tackle upon him by Dan Rouse. He's pulled him to the ground midway, 22 and halfway. Western Samoa right up there. They've got it again. Through goes Smith. Smith caught and pulled to the ground again. He's held down onto the ground. Back it goes again to Western Samoa. Out wide they swing it quickly. And there's a bit of a bit of a gap in there, but not able to get through Leo Pepe. Across they go once again. And down the sideline, a grubber kick through from Talia. Right back there is Sarevi. He turns it back, clips it towards touch and doesn't find it. But Messino brings it out into the center. They bring their attack from there to Ovaenga. There's Onahanga once again. He goes forward, gives it on to Brian Lima. He goes in amongst the forwards and can't go anywhere. It's caught. Pulled to the ground, scrambled away then by uh, Pets Mariela. And across it comes once again. Onahanga featured on the grandstand sideline. He tried to push off half the Fiji team and was taken to the ground. Back up to Samoa again. Brian Lima caught to the ground. He's caught on the outside the 22. Western Samoa settled down. Back out wide it goes. Across the other side to Uvainga. He's taken the wrong option and couldn't get rid of the ball. Taken to the ground. And a, a good tackle upon him by Saleh Sorabaki. Bundled him up and took Uvainga. But there's nowhere to go as Saleh Sorabaki smothered him with a wonderful tackle, pulled him to the ground just outside that 22, and down they went. Western Samoa to put it in nevertheless, and this will be for Lemu to put it in for Western Samoa, 10 outside the 22, close to centre field, an ideal platform to, uh, to attack from, they opt to go onto the short side. They've got an extra man there, and across they go. They've across the sideline, and too slow to clear the ball. A man on the wing was left wide open. They didn't get the ball away. They're going down the sideline as Senny. Senny then forced into touch some four metres from the corner flag, but the Samoan forwards coming back strong. A great period of possession there by the Samoans as they rucked, moved it, rucked again, moved it back, and mauled the ball back into their backs for three or four separate occasions. Smith to put it in in defence for Fiji. Standing back deeper this time is Tawaki, I see. 
gone back to number five. Smith's to put it in deep down behind him, Tamani Valu. Waiting in it comes and Katalau puts it down. Didn't get it cleanly though. The ball, the advantage to Western Samoa. Referee said Katalau knocked it forward. We take the scrum. And this, a defensive scrum from Fiji. And this, I imagine, will be an attempted pushover from Western Samoa. Fiji have had the experience in, West, in uh, South Africa of uh, holding the pressure forced upon them in such occasions. We'll see how they stand up to it. Billy move. Puts it in. Now he's deciding to clear it away. Has a run on his own. Feeds it back in. And a, a good effort from Western Samoa. They set it up once again. An effort close to the post. No, he's bundled away from there. Western Samoa not able. But here they come once again. Fatty Loper goes through. And they claim a try. But the referee had said he had knocked it forward as he went together. And a good, determined effort from Fatty Loper that time. But he was unable to reach the line and fumbled forward as he, as he uh, adjusted the ball. Jacobi Raulu need to put it in for Fiji. And it's held there. Rauluni goes himself. Puts a long kick towards touch on that terrace sideline and finds it into touch. Into touch, seven metres inside his own half. An enormous kick from right inside his own goal area. And he wasted no time to think that he was going to do it himself and uh, saved the pressure upon his supports. Great work from Raul Looney, a very plucky halfback, a man who played mightily in South Africa, one whose work rate takes a lot of beating. So we wait now again for Leasa to put it in. And it comes into the line down near the back and a great take there from Sini to Ala. Onto the ground it is for Western Samoa. They've got it out. An angled kick across towards the grandstand sideline. And it bounces kindly for them. Not into touch. Taken by Sarevi instead. And Sarevi wasting no time. He in turn drives it towards touch. Fumbled and taken by Messino. He goes forward there. Decides he's going to run with the ball. Smith decides he's not. Down onto the ground they go five metres outside the 22. Back out comes Western Samoa. Can't get it. A tremendous effort. Dan Rouse right up over the top of the ball. Spoiled Western Samoa's attempted drive forward. And we've got a scrum to Fiji. 15 outside the 22 and 7 or 8 in from the grandstand sideline. And a bit of misunderstanding and a little bit of uh, uh, disagreement in there. As a referee, Paddy O'Brien says, Western Samoa, slow it down. Tidy it up. The referee calls in Joanie Vaitiaki, and indeed, black. Some words being said, and the penalty to Samoa. And that was, I believe, from the after play rather than the foreplay. And here's Western Samoa's for Amasino, and to see whether he can put points on the board for Western Samoa. Play in progress now, 22 minutes. 22 minutes gone, Fiji hold the early lead of 13 points to nil. And for Abbasino attempting to narrow the gap. For Abbasino's kick from 14 metres outside the 22 and 8 in from the grandstand sideline. Here's the angle you saw. For Abbasino, been unsuccessful his only effort earlier. A left footer moving wide and with not a movement in the trees behind you can see how still the atmosphere is. Marmosino moves forward and he's hooked it well away well outside the right hand upright and he really slugged at that one and a very bad strike the score remaining at 13 points to nil, 23 minutes gone in the first half. Fiji leading Western Samoa in the Tri-Nation Series. And Sarevi again, a huge kick, a long one for Messino. Knocks the ball forward as he goes to take it. Manasram Bari right up there, runs into Smith. Smith shoulder charges him down. And for Messino, not only disappointed from losing the ball, but disappointing also for losing his feet. 
as he ran into a dogged Smith. The scrum to go down. So Kobe, and off goes uh, Dan Rouse. He's turned over, he manages to leave the ball behind, so Kobe gets it up, across to Nicky Little, and across it goes to Saleh. Saleh's held and pulled to the ground there, Leo Pepe holding on to him, taken to the ground, five outside the 22, out it comes to Fiji, Nicky again, gets it across left, and here is, is Tamani Valu. He runs into a tackle, turns it over nicely, and back out it comes to Sokovi. Our bouncing pass, taken by Sarevi. Sarevi gets it quick across to Tuilevu, and Tuilevu a little chip kick. He chips it, and the ball races up there. The ball taps into touch on defence by Western Samoa, a free kick to Fiji, five metres out from the goal line, 15 in from touch, the free kick from the tap into touch by Western Samoa. And they're going to take a tap and run by the look of it, the forwards go lining up, the Fiji forwards, are they going to do it or are they going to have it, no they can't have a shot at goal of course, a tap it's got to be. And the Fiji forwards lined up, there they go, and drive straight in, Smith backs his way as he turns and the Fiji forward over the line, and a try, a try to Fiji, with, who's coming up with the ball, and there was Katalao came up with the ball, a try to Katalao that was made to look so easy, Katalao's try scored in the 25th minute, 25 minutes from the start and then Maury Katalao he got it, must have taken it from Smith, Smith gathered it, and Smith, I think, was the architect of that, the way in which he took the ball, and as he took it, he spun, and he, as he spun, he went away from the force of the defence, and the gap must have been there for Catalao, who was forced over the might of the Fiji bunch of forwards, and takes it on to 18 points to nil, the try scored, nine metres in from the terrace side of the field. 25 minutes and 18 points scored. Nicky Little a chance to add to that and make it 20 points scored. The Fiji forwards having a very understanding combination and that's been the telling tale so far. Western Samoa have only had four or five minutes of control in these first 25. Nicky tries it again and this time raises the flag. It's 20 points to nil. A huge biased Fiji crowd delighted with the effort. And Nicky's conversion, these of course are the first kicks, if I can recollect, yes, I think these are the first kicks that Nicky has shown on Fiji territory. Nicky having been so successful in the Ballymore Tens, successful in South Africa, and oh, how much we regret he wasn't with us in Wales. Taken by Smith, five outside the 22, 10 in from the terrace touchline. jakovi has got it, gets it straight back, the referee's whistle's gone. A Western Samoa put in, he said. He considered the ball wasn't used, and so we put it in. It'll be a Western Samoa put in from Philemu. Western Samoa put in. They've got it off the back. Comes Pat Lamb. He goes as far as he could. Taps it back, and Philemu got it. He, could, he was able to flick it away, but it was a tap back. Ball gone loose. In comes uh, this time is Nanyao. He couldn't get it though. So Kobe trying to get it. Western Samoa blocking Sokovi from getting it. Eventually he gets it straight back to Sarevi. Sarevi drives it at an angle once again. Cross towards the grandstand sideline. Manasim Bari racing up like a train and leaving for a Messina with very little option but to drive it into touch as well. And that's the first time we've seen Manasim Bari with an opportunity to show the speed that he's got and the pressure that he created on for a Messino had him hastily left footing it into touch, finding it in touch right on the 22 metre line. Manasim Bari in the 11 jersey there was tramping as he went along and both wings, Bari and Isaiah Tuilevu, showing speed in front of the home crowd that the 30,000 would be pleased with. Smith. Into the line it goes, right down the back and a nice take by Tamani Valo at the back. He's got a position, Western Samoa roll over the top of the ball, and as they smothered the ball there, referee was right there, was Paddy O'Brien, and he was able to uh, direct the, in, the placement into the scrum, Fiji. Good work from Tommy Valu. Sokovi puts it in for Fiji. And a flick away down the grandstand sideline, a dash away along that sideline, onto his feet again. Rowley and he, a penalty against the Samoans, a high tackle, 
and that was uh, Kobe Rolooney. It was just a flick off the side, straight into the uh, waiting hands there of uh, Rolooney, and he was away down the sideline, and if anything, lacked any support. Joely says, we'll slow it down, and from the penalty, it'll be an opportunity for Nicky to add to his present tally of one conversion and one penalty. Fiji already successful with three tries. Western Samoa have yet to reach Fiji's scoreline. So Nicky Little has this, and he's positioned right on the 22 metre line, the intersection of it with the five metre line as we see the huge crowd behind. Nicky Little, a very tidy right footer, had experience right through uh, New Zealand schoolboy rugby, was chosen in the New Zealand uh, Colts team and opted to play for Fiji. Nicky Little moves forward. And a very gentle tap, he steered it well. He actually controlled it all the way, almost as if by remote. And Nicky Little extends Fiji's lead to 23 points to nil with a penalty. That penalty now in the 30th minute. Well, an interesting one at 15 points to 11, the All Blacks defeating the South Africans, and it's here Fiji leading the Western Samoans by 23 points to nil. We're waiting for it to come up to Fiji, out it comes onto the open side, down the grandstand sideline come Nicky Little, he's gone through the gap, he's got a Mori on the inside, and Mori flicks it back, it's picked up by Fadio Loper instead, and Samoans on defence, the quick attack of Fiji, Downs them to the ground, back out it comes, playing half back with Smith, across the Serevi, across it goes again, and there goes Eferevi Tawaki, and Tawaki crosses the line and comes around underneath the post. Well, the Samoans are absolutely devastated at that. There were very few across on the terrace sideline. They were all expecting it to come out of the open, and Fiji. So many men in the back line, they had to move the ball quickly because they were being crowded and across it went to Iferemi and Iferemi bolted away from the defence. He had men sitting outside him, he crossed the line midway corner flag and upright and then came round into the middle and Iferemi then has taken it on to 28 points to nil. Nicky Little with the chance to make it 30 from straight in front. Samoans standing behind, devastated, 30 points to nil. Who would have expected this? Play gone now, 31 minutes. And in 31 minutes, it's Fiji 30, almost a point a minute in this first half, with Nicky getting the conversion, his second, and Iferimi logging up Fiji's fourth try. A performance you couldn't expect, but a performance that reflects the, the effort that Fiji put in against the Springboks. And against the Springboks, they were equally devastating. The amount of ball that was won by Fiji and South Africa had to be seen to be believed. As we have the long kick for a bye-bye. My ball says Smith goes up and takes it. He takes the battering of the Blues as they came in upon him as well. And out it comes Sokovi again. Sokovi to Nicky. Nicky and out it comes to Sarevi. Sarevi towards the grandstand sideline. He's angled it well and beats them all. Brian Lever is, couldn't get his fingertips to it. And a drive into touch. The effort is obvious that Fiji say will play the game in Western Samoa's territory. And I'm certain that they were told they don't want any ball inside their own half. That's the way it appears to be. And the angled kicks from Sarevi continuing to drive the Samoans back, the, the uh, contact in the forwards, not nearly as much as we might have expected as Fiji clear it. Up high, a bad time and jump from, um, from them, but it's taken nicely by Cattelau, down, uh, by Black down at the back there. Out it comes and Smith runs into trouble. He sets it up, however, back behind and taking it instead is Cattelau. Cattelau goes forward, he's cut down like a log in the forest. And back it comes Sokovi again. Sokovi goes straight up into uh, Tamani Valu. He roars his way forward there and decided to take it into fourth phase play. And back out it comes once again now. If, as waiting to bring it out that time was a Pelinay to Ival. The referee said, you don't need to. We'll take the scrum. We'll take the scrum from in front. 
but eight metres outside the 22, a Fiji put in, and it'll be Sir Coffee Rolooney to do so. In it goes, and back it comes to Dan Rouse, and I might have thought Samoa was, was offside as out it goes Manasambari, and a lovely little one from Sarevi. Paul not connected as Bari went around the outside of him, but it obstruction, said the referee. It was obstruction, pushing of the uh, Fiji team as they attempted to come through that gap. Sarevi and Bari playing it together like brothers, and it is another attempt to, uh, to increase Fiji's tally, 30 already, and from eight metres outside the 22, and 12 in from the terrace side of the field, it's Fiji with an opportunity in the 34th minute to see if they can increase the, the score. That was some excellent understanding, and that's just exactly the, the um, point of Fiji's play, the understanding that the players have amongst themselves. We wait now for Nikki. Nikki, who steered it nicely from this grandstand sideline, now trying it from the terrace sideline. Here it goes, and Nikki has driven it between the posts, 33 points to nil. And that would log up Nikki's third penalty. The play gone now 35 minutes, it's 33 points to nil. Almost a point a minute to Fiji in the first half. Remember the whole game in South Africa was a point a minute for the whole game for two sides. At this rate, it's Fiji showing a point a minute in this first half. Taken by Catalao, goes forward, turns it round now with uh, uh, Iferimi. He's gone forward and down onto the ground he goes. Referee looking at it carefully and out to Nicky. Nicky's left footed driving him back once again across an angle kick and it bounces brilliantly. A beautiful position kick from uh, Nicky Little off his left that time and the ball bounced three metres inside the field of play and ran away as Grant Fox is always used to. And so Paddy O'Brien right up there, the game played in great spirit so far. Fiji getting a wealth of ball and that is the telling tale to Samoa. We wait now for Tala Leasa to put the ball in into this line from five metres outside his 22. Ready for it and up I was cut allowed, tussled for it, ball went loose, Smith went in on the wrong side, I might have thought. The, the advantage to Western Samoa, they've got it straight back to 5-8, uh, bye-bye. Puts a long kick in, Manas and Bari waits for it. He's got it, goes forward up to the 10. And the referee had said, we'll have the penalty. A penalty, let me think what it was we noticed there. He takes them back for the penalty at the last phase of play. But bye bye, has a kick. He doesn't get it as far as he did before, but they get the position, of course, from the line out. The line out where they'll throw it in some seven meters inside Western Samoa's territory on the grandstand side of the field. Fiji ahead, 33 points to nil. Again, Western Samoa to put it in, Tala Leasa. And I see Amori going right to the very front of the line this time, and he's hoisted up before him he gets it. Before him he gets it, but it's a difficult one. Smith has to gather and slides into touch, almost like the soccer players do tidied it up. Smith, always a very um, muddied player, reflective upon the tremendous amount of work that he does in both attack and defence. Talar again for Western Samoa. Up high was Western Samoa. Jumping through there, neatly done, was Black. He's got it at the back of the line, back of them all. And Fiji have got it held in there as Western Samoa drive in upon them. A big effort from Samoa. They're rolling them all and Fiji backwards. Inside Fiji's territory now, they keep Samoa keeping it, working it, and Imori trying to get over the top of that mall as Western Samoa drive in field and Fetty Alofa taken to the ground, and away they've got it. Western Samoa got it out amongst their backs. A long angle kick this time. Four goes back, 2-11 has got it. Inside his 22, no risk, no time waste, and 2-11 from inside his 22 sets them back on their heels. Drives it into touch, finding touch nine metres inside his own half. 
the ball seemed to go such a long way into Western Samoa's territory, but must have, much of it was certainly in touch. So the line-out takes place on the 10-metre line in Fiji territory on that terrace sideline. And it comes into the line and up high once again for Emi, not able to get his fingertips to it that time. Samoa took it in well. And out they've got it, out onto the open. And across it comes there, Pepe. He's caught, though. He can't get rid of it. It was actually on a hunger with him. Tried to support. Back out it comes. Picked up nicely. In through, in through there goes Black. And with him was Amori. They, they continued the attack forward. Fiji forwards and across it goes. Across onto the short side. Nicky's weaving his way through. It gave it upfield to 211. Back it comes to Smith. Knocked forward there. And the Fiji backs just managed to get into position in time and Nicky tramped around that short side and really was wanting for support. The call was on the outside, the pass came on the inside, Smith found it difficult to gather but a lot of ground gained by Fiji. Four metres outside the 22. The scrum to go down and uh, half time looming on our clock here as we wait for Filiamu to put it in for Western Samoa. Referee talking to the front row. And not very happy, the ball not going in and the scrums collapsing to the ground. As perhaps a little fatigue taking its position now. And uh, I notice Brendan Reedy having his say on the ground on the far side for Western Samoa. They get up once again and Tala assumes his position in the centre for Western Samoa. In it goes and he's got it raked well. Fiji turning it round, but back out it comes wide. Western Samoa opting to play it the same way Fiji is. A high ball, ball bounces towards the ground. It actually bounced backwards and into touch on the grandstand sideline. Ball well covered by both Manasambari and Wesley Zarevi on this grandstand sideline. They didn't have to touch it as the ball bounded directly into touch from the first bounce. There we are, I was just looking at the clock and thinking it's just on half time, half time it is. And Fiji lead Western Samoa by 33 points to nil and for almost the entire duration it was a point for a point. Only these last few minutes have Western Samoa won enough ball to stem the flow of Fiji attack. Here, referee uh, O'Brien says, get it moving. And there's the long one taken by Sokovia. A reverse pass back there to uh, Nicky Little. And a very gentle tap into touch. Steered beautifully again from Nicky Little. And into touch. It's gone. Pat Lamb just helping the line umpire by saying, well, there it went out. And the line out to take place. And it's Western Samoa's Talal Nasa. put it into the line of visitors from Samoa and interesting to notice that, that uh, the very front of the line of Fiji is Dan Rouse guiding and guarding Imori Katala behind and at number three is Eferimi and a long pass step back there by uh, Samoa they couldn't combine Nornohanga couldn't get his ball away it's taken by Pat Lamb trying to tidy it up for Western Samoa but knocked through said the referee by Fiji as they were they keep marching or kept marching the Samoans backwards the scrum just inside Fiji's territory by four metres Oh, it'll be halfback uh, Joe Filemo to put the ball in and a, a very quick, a, a hurried uh, a hook and straight out it goes, caught back uh, back there is Pat Lamb, he's playing there as, as a, uh, an extra 5-8 and a penalty against Fiji over the top, taken quickly there by Western Samoa, they lack the support, not everybody ready for it, Oh no, was there going forward with them and trying to go through with it as Reedy, ball lost to the ground, lost left behind and a knock forward by Western Samoa. They're trying to do things just a bit hurriedly at the start of the second half and haven't found their feet yet. So we wait for it to go into the scrum once again. This time it'll be Sokovi. Raul Looney to put it in for Fiji. And it goes and uh, Dan Rouse got it held for Sokovi. And uh, Samoa 
So Kobe decides he'll have a run on his own and angles a grubber kick towards the grandstand sideline as he found Phil Emu coming around on the other side for him, which really and effectively cut off the link that he might have had with his backs on the open side. Intelligent and wise play from uh, Raul Looney there as he takes Fiji into Samoa's territory, 12 metres. Western Samoa to put it in. 12 into the Western Samoa territory. No change in the second half so far. And then it goes up high and ball tapped down to the ground. Taken by Apelli who ties his up neatly. And back it comes to Rauluni. On it goes to uh, Tamani Valu. He rushes in there like a, like a bull. And back out it comes across to Nikki. Across it goes again Saleh. And bursting through there is, is uh, Alfred. Alfred's up to the 22. He's keeping going. He's got grand support there inside the 22. Fiji again onto the short side. Out to Ephraim here. Across it goes to Aisia. Aisia pulled down. He bounced the ball on the ground. And into touch it went. A bounce drop down, he wasn't able to put the ball down and do uh, the touch. A drop out, 22, said the referee. He was right there, and that's correct, a fair, fair comment from the referee. It was a little distant as Fiji sped towards the corner flag. And a long kick there again, and I don't think it was judged terribly well by Western Samoa. Scooped up by Nicky Little inside his own half, flicks it towards the grandstand sideline. Sokovi, he hasn't got much support there, he manages to turn it over. Smith right up there once again. A good piece of effort in there, and taking it away, Apelli playing halfback, gets it across to Tommy Valu. He goes down the grandstand sideline, feeds it back to nobody, and across there is Amori Katvalau, and put his foot into touch on the grandstand sideline as he meets up with the... Uh, Busy on a hunger of Western Samoa. We wait again for the lineup to take place a meter inside Fiji's territory. Tala to put it in for Western Samoa as usual. The referee goes down to the back of the line to watch from the Western Samoa side as we wait for the throw in to come. Then it comes an up high note not taken tightly by anybody, knocked through, but the referee has said there was uh, holding and quickly taken by Western Samoa. They flick it back to Fatty Alofa. He's a little slow on his feet and a forward pass to Fatty Alofa it was. Took it from in front and he was gently dropped to the ground by Fiji. Rolou need to put it in again, five inside the Fiji's half. And it comes, and again, Dilemu shadowing Sokovi. Sokovi pushes the tackle off, back in field. Rouse unable to get it. Had his eyes closed, I guess, that time. He knocked it forward. Some more have taken it into the mall and drive back. Towards the halfway line they come. They're making forward progress. Back out it goes to Fulemo. Sets a long one out there to Leo Pepe. He's caught inside the 10-meter line. Fiji's defense absolutely uh, uh, strong as... Reedy works his way through, and now it comes onto the left, onto Sarevi. Sarevi throws a dummy, gives it across left, and there down the left goes, and back in field, and this time a burst away by Barry. Back in field it was, and a knock forward by Fiji. Barry could have done it alone. He decided to play it fair to the others. There were two outside him on his left, and as he threw the ball back, it was a knock forward by the support player of Fiji, and the Western Samoa line was wide open, a save for Western Samoa. So Revy and Bari showing tremendous combinations. Also in it was uh, Luna Yao. Alfred was right up amongst them. Uh, we wait, I notice Raul Luni limping his way around to the back of the scrum. Takes it on to the short side and a tap kick from Samoa into touch on the 22 meter line on that terrace sideline. But the pressure exerted by the Fiji forwards and backs being almost unbearable to the Western Samoans. 33 points to nil, we've gone six minutes of the second half. No change in the halftime score. Though there might have been just that time. And it's Smith to throw it in. If Arimi forward this time, Routes behind him, black near the back. Waiting for the throw from Smith. In it comes, and some good timing from Ephraimi. He's got it at number four, and ball knocked to the ground, and now it comes to, to Tamani Valu. Tamani Valu bursts his way forward, pushes off a defender. He's still going, he's up towards the line. Nobody there to take it from him, though. Back it comes Rolooney. He's pulled to the ground on the penalty against Samoa. 
Over the top went Winston Samoa as Raul Looney went to get that ball out. The referee had no hesitation and said, I'll have it. A wonderful piece of bullocking work from Tamani Valu. Probably the most successful that I've seen at any stage of Tamani Valu's effort in at the uh, fringe of either the mall, line-out or ruck. Great piece of work from Tamani Valu and uh, they just showed a reluctance to tackle. It was a, an unusual reluctance. The Samoans are not normally like that, but Tamani Valu with arm up in front of him would push the opposition away and made it look so easy. There it is. Just like the penalty conversion made to look so easy as Nicky logs up his fourth success from a penalty kick and takes Fiji's score on to 36 points to nil as we've gone seven minutes into the second half. A Nicky penalty from in front, a very easy one. He steered it gently, just as Sarevi does in Hong Kong, and extending the Fiji score. And there towards the grandstand sideline, my ball says Raul Looney, inside his 22, straight back to Sarevi, and Sarevi, a very correct looking kick, beautifully placed, and bounces into touch, right on the uh, uh, sideline, one metre inside Fiji's territory. It will be Tala to put it in, one metre inside. And we wait, in it comes, and Tala, taken nicely by Reedy near the front of the line for Western Samoa. He drives in there, they've, they've got a very tight maul this time. And I notice there's somebody else who's, who's come on for Western Samoa. I hadn't noticed a change in there. We've got uh, Leo uh, Falanico, who's on the field for Western Samoa. I hadn't even noticed him go on. As yes, come off, was off the side as Stephen Smith has come off. I hadn't seen Smith come off. And so we see instead is uh, Leo Falanico. He's actually gone into the, to the lock position, which, which has effectively put Sene on the side for Western Samoa. And it goes, and uh, the ball coming back, and uh, a, a nice break. Felemu is able to weave his way through the uh, defence. It's picked up again, though, by Nicky Little. Nicky trying to straighten it up, hadn't, didn't have a chance. Too much defence across there. Picked up again by Rolooney. Ball lost to the ground. Across it goes towards the sideline. Brian Lima going down the side. Manasson Bari grabs him and pulls him to the ground. Ball loose. Western Samoa of court. They're held to the ground. And a head over heels when went uh, black as he went to uh, cut off the second effort from Western Samoa once Brian Lima was pulled to the ground by Manasam Bari. So the line out to take place, Western Samoa right up against Fiji's line 10 metres out and are trying to organise their line out while it's a Fiji throw in. Fiji's throw in, and this will be Greg Smith once again. Fiji's concerted effort, Katalau up near the front, and uh, Katalau goes up, gets the touch, back it goes to Rolooni, he's caught, he's in trouble, Smith takes the ball from him, and uh, Smith backs his way into the opposition, and uh, Fiji put into the line, good defence from Fiji. Amazing how Sarevi emerged with the ball out of that one, and Dan Rouse talking to Katalau and to Eferemi in there. And we've got yet another scrum to go down, Fiji on defence. Samoa, a chance on their attack. And back comes the ball through Fiji. Towards the back. And Rolooni, wasting no time, clears it himself into touch, finding touch, midway 22 and goal line. Samoa really applying the pressure now. The biggest effort that they've put in in the 50 minutes the game's been in progress. Again, Lea Sata put the ball in for Western Samoa. In it comes, and a nice take near the, near the front of the line there by Western Samoa. They've got it held in there. Fiji not giving an inch. Western Samoa trying to roll them, roll them all and Fiji go through, but there is it's taken by Leo Fanonico. He's up to 12 metres out from the goal line. Ball lost to the ground. 
Samoa again. They've got a wide run from, from uh, extra men out there. Knocked forward, picked up by Nikki. Nikki's pulled it out of the air like that, taken into the ground. Fiji's advantage. Out it comes to Rolooney. He's got space he's found. And through the gap it goes and crossed to the grandstand sideline. And crossed to Tuilevu. Tuilevu gives it across onto the open side. And to Olunao. And there goes Lacey at Tuilevu. Tuilevu up and gets it into the center field. And gets it back into Alfred. And Alfred goes run behind the post. And wonderful play, and the sensitivity of Western Samoa driving at the, at the attack. Just had the ball passing, moving, and Western Samoa couldn't stem that drive. And Alfred has gone in. Alfred contributing a tremendous amount from the run inside the 22. It was started by um, uh, Raul Looney. Raul Looney gathering, was looking for somebody to pass. And so did Samoa look to see who he was going to pass. A gap was open and the drive was on from inside the 22. And there were four of them all coming down like a wave. And they go out of Alabay. And it's gone on to 43 points to nil with Alfred getting it and Nicky converting. And the score mounting in the 14th minute of the second half. And Alfred at the end of the line where it was in and out, Alfred handling three times in the course of getting across to score. A magnificent score, that one. That's one out of the bag, out of the bag. one that's really worth writing a story about. Up nicely was Ephraimi, all lost to the ground, picked up in there, however, by Western Samoa, was knocked through by them. Not through by Senny, and we'll have the scrum to go down midway 22 and halfway with Fiji to put it in. Sakovi puts it in, and it's healed, held there by Rouse. He's controlling it. And a flick behind to Nicky. Nicky gives it in there to Sally Sorabak. He's burst his way through. He comes back and runs into Leon Falanico. And the ball still going forward though. Sokovi again. Out to Sarevi. A chip kick angle towards the grandstand sideline. And down there goes uh, uh, Alfred again towards the grandstand sideline. A Western Samoa just not getting the ball and going forward. They're getting a little bit of... Uh, they're getting the crumbs as Fiji has always been used to. And Samoa making their own mistakes, many of them unforced. And so we have, into the line it goes, come back on Fiji's side, Ifarimi braced himself as he took and tidied up. It's held in there by Fiji, Fiji driving in there, and it's taken off them by Samoa, but the referee had said it was Fiji's advantage. It must have been taken away as uh, Ifarimi had braced himself forward, and a good piece of... Uh, of sportsmanship from Fatia Lofa there as he lifts uh, Ifarimi from the ground and they both go to their respective positions in the scrum. Sakovi puts it in. Ball bounced back into the, the scrum and uh, Sakovi gets it out to Nicky and back and Nicky doubles around. There's the same one again. Over the top it went and forward pass it went to to Sarevi as that high ball over there just a little bit in front and a difficult pass over the uh, top from Sarevi. Uh, from Nicky to Sarevi it was. And forward it was. So it's a Western Samoa put in. 15 minutes gone in the second half. 43 points to nil. Fiji lead Western Samoa. Samoa with position. Going over onto the short side and a dash through there by Joe Falemo. He's left the ball behind and, uh, and Rouse turns around and sets up the counter attack. They drive forward there. Five inside the, the uh, Fiji half. Finding his way out was Rolini, on to Nicky, out in there was Isaiah Tuilevu, lost the ball forward, scrambled up by Western Samoa, and play carrying on to Uvainga, decides to straighten it up, and chip kicks into touch on the grandstand sideline. Good piece of work and support from Bar by Vai. Ball into touch on the grandstand sideline. Western Samoa never say die. And with even 17 minutes gone in the second half, they're still throwing everything into it. But Fiji enjoying a big advantage of 43 points to nil. And it would look as if some attention required out there, is it? Manasambari is his leg playing up. No. It is closer to the base, and it would appear to be 
How do you know, Pa? The referee talking to Greg Smith. Little uncertain for the stoppage of play. Let's carry on, said the referee. Ferry Loafer is all right. Perhaps the pace of the game just a little bit hectic for the old man. Smith to put it in. Here it goes. Ephraimio was up high, but it was flicked away from him. And running through was halfback Phil Emu, who was caught by Black. Down onto the ground, driving after Western Samoa, after, but, but Raul only gets it away. And the penalty against Western Samoa. And uh, Sarevi quickly to uh, take, the take position and uh, drove it into touch, told his own forwards, get out of the way while I have a shot. And his long angled kick, finding touch, two metres outside the 22 in Western Samoa territory. Fiji driving up on the attack. And now they start to reduce, Fiji reducing to a two-man line. Just two men in the lineup. Heading for it. And it comes and up, and there was a bump away there. And uh, yes, there was a shoulder in there before ever there was contact. And uh, the penalty to Fiji for obstruction in the lineup by the big man, Porto Leavasa. 10 meters outside the 22. And 14 in from the grandstand sideline. Another opportunity for Nicky Little. And that was the first of the reduced lines for Fiji. And how successful it has proven to be. Looked as if there was a little attention required in there for Mark Black. But he's, he's all right. He's taking his position back there as Nicky Little lines it up. Got wide open goalposts. 15 in from the grandstand sideline. And Nicky steered that one. No, it's outside. Not good enough. Outside. Over the dead ball line it is. A dropout 22. Samoa bringing it up very quickly. And you've got uh, Terry Funnel Lua, who's also gone on for Western Samoa, out in the field of play now. Taken by Sarevi outside the 10 metres. Across it goes, and through goes Sukavi Raluni. He found the gap, and through he went. Ball left to be in behind, picked up in there by Black, but then left behind as Samoa. A hand on the ball in there, and Fiji giving it to Sarevi. Sarevi again angling towards the grandstand sideline. Into touch, he made certain of it. It'll be a Fiji put into the line, a metre inside the 22. Forty-three points to nil it is. Fiji leading Western Samoa midway through the second half. Smith to put it in. It goes into the line up high and a great take there by uh, Fiji. Into the line it goes. And they, they storm in the inside. Tamani Valley goes forward. He's watered full to the ground. Sokovi, there's Tamani Valley this time. Forward he goes once again. They're, they're reluctant to take it. Tackle him. On it goes to a belly. He falls to the ground, but it was a forward pass. A piece of work from there from uh, a lovely line out jump. And uh, Tamani Valley driving forward, drilling his way into the opposition. Out it comes this time, Western Samoa, halfback, uh, Filimu, on to Vai, and they've got themselves into trouble, Filimu takes it again, they're lacking the support, they're forward, slow to get over, and there goes Fiji through, they go once again, back out it comes out of the open, and on it's gone this time, and an easy one, an easy one, and uh, this was Iferimi's second try, not a hand laid on him, as uh, through he went, and scored, a very easy try, no real effort upon him, and Fiji extend their lead, 48 points to nil. A grand piece of work in there as they combined, and it was that, the, again I repeat, the knowledge they have of each other that enables them to be able to get through in the manner they did. Fine work from Fiji.
as we wait now for Nicky Little to see whether he can add the extra points to it. We wait for Nicky Little, whose try is close to the sideline. And in actual fact, the try was scored by, um, by Apelli. And Nicky's kick is away. So instead of Ephraimi who went over, it was Epeli who scored the, the next try, Epeli Naitoeval. And he made it look so, so easy. And PG score mounts to 48 points to nil, 23 minutes into the second half. High ball towards the grandstand sideline. Up high, and that was Ephraimi taking that one. He gets good support. They surround him quickly. And back it comes to Kovi. Out to Nicky. And Nicky finds a gap there too, but there's three then that, that come in onto him from three different angles. Haul him to the ground. Out comes Tamani Valu. He dives to the ground and turns over, setting it up nicely. Oh, and brilliantly picked up by Serevi. Back in field is Sokovi. Sokovi to Serevi. Serevi leaves the ball on the ground. Going in and grabbing it was on the open side, I see her. He goes down towards the 22. Fiji forwards right up there, fearlessly continuing to drive forward. Back out it comes. Out to Serevi. And who's in the back, ground, back line? The Samoans a mile offside. And out it goes quickly across onto the left and onto the right. And here's Bowie playing for the corner. That's the mark for the try is. The try is awarded. A brilliant piece of work with Manas and Barry. He's so wrong. He is absolutely ecstatic about that effort. Manasseh gets it. It's a, really his first effort, but it was the determination that made it possible for Manasseh when that ball was flicked out to him. Not a lot of room to move in, but the Tavua speedster made the most of it, and in the 25th minute, it was Manasseh's try, and he, he bumped off the uh, only man who attempted, and the, he, the defender went straight to ground. Manasseh over for a dive, and uh, talk about a toothy smile, that was Manasseh's thrilled to have been able to contribute. 53 points to nil. Fiji leading Samoa with still now 16 minutes to go. The kick is outside. It's short of the, of the mark, but it remains at 53 points to nil. So we wait for the restart of play as Miss and Samoa come up and BG forwards scatter across the whole width of ground on both sides. And it sounds as if there's somebody in the grandstand with a whistle in his mouth. And here's the long one for some uh, Massino. It's a long kick. And the ball doesn't bounce back over the goal line as might have been thought and it's thrust out instead to Zarevi. And Zarevi just takes from finger to toe, just like a ballet dancer would do. Just down it went, flop, and then away into touch on the grandstand sideline. Into touch, nine metres inside his own half. It was, again, part of the combination, part of the knowing play, part of the players being so familiar with each other and the fact that the squad, I'm sure, uh, is the one that's been kept together. In it goes and back to Western Samoa. Out it goes across to, uh, it'll miss out past the two of Vahinga. He decides to lift it into the air. A crop coming after it is Isaiah Tuilevu. He didn't take it, Sarevi took it instead. Flicks it away across the grandstand sideline. Isaiah Tuilevu, a high ball, straight back then, taken nicely by Vai Vai. He puts it back. And there's a kicking duel on. My ball back here, says Apelli. He takes it and feeds it back nicely to Nicky. Nicky then, unhesitatingly, slams it into touch on the grandstand sideline. Midway, 22 and halfway on this grandstand side of the field. 53 points to nil. Play with now 14 minutes left to play. Western Samoa forwards. A little ragged out there now, as halfback Philemu talks to them, and Talat Laasa to throw it in. In it comes, 
And a nice take, an easy take that time by Ephraim. He gives it on to Joe Alley. Joe Alley manages to get his way through on a hunger. A nice drive off him by Amori. Ball left behind, flicked up again, given wide. Ifurimi lost the ball to the, not Ifurimi, it was Tamani who lost the ball to the ground. Picked up in there neatly uh, by uh, uh, by Reddy. He's got it and held in there. Back out comes Western Samoa. They're getting it out wide. A long kick across, angled towards the touchline. And the ball runs away into touch with a number of the uh, Samoans on the ground. Not the least of whom is Seni, who is obviously having a, a problem with his chest. He's on his feet and away he goes to as uh, physiotherapy assistance was uh, reaching him. So Western Samoa driving inside the Fiji's 22 meter line, two meters inside the 22. Smith to put it into the line. A blemish that let the ball away that time from Fiji's point of view. And this is the telling time. The last 12 minutes of the game Remember the last time we spoke in South Africa, it was Fiji toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Springboks and it was the last 20 minutes that told. And here we have Western Samoa starting to drive. They haven't got a point on the board at this moment. 10 metres inside the 22. Western Samoa showing some control amongst the forwards. A second breath of wind as it were and out it comes onto the open side to, to uh, Vai Vai. Out right again to the, the, the replacement uh, Fanua. Down it comes and Western Samoa taking it onto the short side. Wide they go once again. Across it goes onto the wing and there's on a hunger right across there. A flick pass across there. Smith across with Manasambari running it into touch. 12 metres from the corner flag in front of the huge crowd gathered still over there despite a few deciding they've seen all they need. Western Samoa again to put it in. 11 minutes left in the game. Fiji 53, Western Samoa nil. In it comes, and a good jump in there by Porto. But Fiji have got it. Back it comes to Raul Uni, and a hand right through there offside. The penalty against Western Samoa. So Revy takes it without hesitation. No delay. And the ball into touch, midway 22 and halfway. And wait for the next line out to take place. Smith to put it in for Fiji. We wait for the line out to commence. And up was Eferemi, but the ball goes right down to Black. He didn't get it. Yes, he did. He got it, and he's taken to the ground, though. Turned over, and they've got him blocked from being able to let the ball out. And the penalty against the Western Samoas for doing so. Smith was going to take it, but feeds it up to Sarevi. And Sarevi puts another huge kick in. Deep into Western Samoa territory it goes. Nine metres outside the 22 on that terrace side of the field. Fiji forwards it themselves. A little slow to get up this time. With ten minutes to go, Fiji ahead, 53 points to nil. Waiting for the line out to take place. In it comes. Up high, Western Samoa. Ball lost loose and flicked into the open. A long one, a miss out pass to Alza Saleh. Saleh puts one wide and gives it through there to Manasa. Manasa puts a chip on and takes it. Manasa up after him. Manasa takes it. And Manasa gets the bounce. He raced through there. Manasa Bari again. And Manasa had taken it. He was fed brilliantly in the middle. And as he had a little, he had two in front of him. He hesitated what he was going to do. It was two to have on, he couldn't have it. He decided the chip over the top was the way to go. And he raced after it. He scurried after it, to say it truly. And was able to gather a very short dead ball line. But he was able to get the bouncing ball and dive at the same time, taking it on to 58 points to nil. They gone now. 31 minutes of the second half. 31 minutes gone. Fiji leading by 58 to nil. Now to 60 points to nil. Nikki's next try. Next conversion. Manasseh's second try. 
60 points to nil, I can't remember in favour of Fiji. Particularly in such what was considered to be a crucial match, a crucial encounter against the ever so improved Western Samoa side. It was a more standard kick that time. Western Samoa can't handle the ball, eventually got it out from Falemu, goes wide, gives it on to, to replacement Fanalua. He caught and taken to the ground in midway 22 and halfway. Good tackle on him by Tamani Valu. And out it comes again, Western Samoa having a plug on the uh, grandstand sideline. Not much space to go and across it comes in. And taken down there, Alex Talia. And a good tackle upon him. Two of them there, I see it to Elevu. And Nicky Little, both there. Good support in there as well by Saleh Zoravaki. All there in defence. We wait again. Well, a line out to take place. Seven metres inside the 22. Grandstand side of the field. We wait for the Samoan throw in. Wing goes across for Samoan to join outside Brian Lever. Into the line and bad a tap back, a difficult one. Knocked through by uh, Onehanga as he picked it up again. Tried to bind, bound his way through, but the referee said no, it was knocked on first. It kindly bounced up to him and he got it. But we'll take it again. Sokovi to put it in on defence for Fiji. Salis Oropaki coming in to, to make it easier. And uh, Sukovi himself decides to kick for the line and finds it into touch on the grandstand sideline. And another re replacement for Samoa warming up on the grandstand sideline. Kaiser Turingamala is warming up on the grandstand sideline. Wonder whom he will replace as Fiji. Turingamala, it looks like Brian Lima coming off. It is. Lima limping his way from the field and we have Fiji's no sorry it's Tala to throw it in for Western Samoa they've just about gone through all the reserves now Western Samoa and it comes they've got the tap back mightn't have been terribly straight but if he's let him go and Tungamala gets the first touch of his ball just inside the Fiji half and back it comes and no it was tapped back by uh, Western Samoa then out it comes from Onohanga Onohanga works his way forward then loses the ball to the ground kicks it through Picked up a back in, back in here, brilliantly done, and it was taken by uh, Alfred, and as he goes to the ground, a handle ball, said the referee, and quickly taken by Western Samoa, out onto the open side, the infield goes Senny. He's taken to the ground, he's on his own. Rest of his forwards, slow to get across. They managed to, to tap it back somehow, a misunderstanding again amongst the Samoans, and the knock forward brings back a scrum, the scrum to go down, eight metres outside Fiji's 22, and the edge tending to go off the game and mistakes coming in as the players are showing signs of fatigue as a result of a, a spectacularly fast game. Back it comes towards uh, Rolooney, picked up by, off the back there by Rouse, he's worked his way through, he hasn't got the legs, gets it on to Rolooney, a bad pass to Rolooney, a man in a worse position than, than uh, Rouse was, and the penalty against Fiji. Quickly taken by uh, Pat Lamb, gets it across then to Farmacino, he's caught and, and then where's it come? Taken in there by the forwards, neatly in by the uh, Samoan forwards, they start to roll it, Fiji taking it a little easy for the moment and then Western Samoa have got it in control nicely from Senny and out it comes White, bad, across it goes however, gathering it is, is uh, Vai Vai, taken away from him. He's taken the thrust to the ground. He's forwards again, slow to get across there. Fiji's forwards pouring over the top, but Fiji somewhere have got it. Out it comes wide. Smith's cut him off. Across it goes to, uh, to Vainga. Vainga continues to go through. He managed to get himself through a gap and failed to pass. Lost the, uh, the uh, advantage. Ball gone to the ground. And the penalty against Fiji. Western Samoa coming in strong, four minutes to go, a quick tap taken, and towards the line they go again, ball lost to the ground, flick back to Fiji, Joali flicks it away and gives it across out there to Ului Nayao, given across onto the left and then Manasa Mbari, and Manasa coming back in field, ran into trouble, across it to uh, Alfred, Alfred loses it, Onohunga takes it from him, a wrestle is on as they're taken to the ground, five inside the 22, Samoa disorganised, Fiji in disarray for the moment, but tackled into the ground Western Samoa while they're making no forward progress. Back it comes towards Western Samoa, ready with it. 
decided he was playing halfback and then ran with it. He took, he's taken to the ground. Ball left behind. Samoa again. Ball knocked out of the hands and once again, ball lost by Western Samoa. Flicked out into the open. They're all standing flat-footed. Out there is to Uvayinga. And Fiji offside, said the referee. A metre inside the 22. Samoa are going to take it a quick one. They do make it quick. On to Falimu. A, a chip-up kick over the top. And the ball not touched. An interesting decision comes here. It was kicked from about eight metres inside Fiji's 22. The ball bounced over the goal line. The referee described the change in rule now and where it had gone over the dead ball line. The referee said it can be Fiji with the option of a 22 or a scrum from where that ball was kicked. And there's the application of the law that has just come into force. In from Sikovi. Rolooney trying to position himself. Manages to flick it away to Sarevi, and Sarevi puts it back into the terrace side of the field. The ball runs away like a rat did, and uh, out it was. Some 13 metres inside Fiji's territory for a Western Samoa put in. And it looks as if uh, Alfred might be getting a little bit of attention. There is a tap back for Fiji. Rolooney had trouble getting rid of it, but Bari comes along in support. Inside his 22, Bari puts a long angle kick, and it bounds into touch. A metre outside Fiji's half on the grandstand sideline. And we've still got three minutes to go in the game. Fiji continue their lead, 60 points to nil over neighbours Western Samoa. And I notice that Alfred is getting that attention back out there. So Revy asks for the game to be held up. The referee's carrying on. As I see it, Tuilevu is looking to join. Alfred goes on to his feet, and Sir Revy is right back there. In it comes, and a tap back there by Western Samar is picked up by Black. Knocked forward as he went together, though. And the scrum to go down, eight metres inside Western Samar's territory. And 15 in from the grandstand sideline. Two minutes left in the game. In it goes. Western Samoa get it away. Are they using their back line out to, to Uvayanger? And he can, he's, uh, dodges his way around, but caught in there by Iferimi. Held up midway, 22 and halfway. A pile in amongst the forwards, and out it comes to Western Samoa again. And a kick towards the grandstand sideline. Ball out on the fall, and back we come. A uh, forgetful kick from Fa'avai Vai, and we come back to 12 metres inside Western Samoa's territory. One minute to go, Fiji ahead, 60 points to nil, and a token gesture to the Fiji side that very few people have left the ground. The ground's still packed at this hour of the day, at this stage of the game. Rarely do we see so few people leaving. Smith to put it in. In it goes, and a nice touch, and taken at the back there by Tamani Valu. He couldn't get his pass away, but ball set up nevertheless. Rolooney's got it, flicks it away to... No, he changes his mind and gives it out onto the open. Rouse has found it his way through, gets it away onto the open, and ball left to the ground. Knocked forward, though, as it, it was a uh, lost effort from Rouse, playing a mighty game for Fiji, also uh, limping, as I see as he goes back into his position, but he was unable to link up with Amori Katalau that time. If Katalau had got it, he would have bounded right out of sight. And it comes and picked up nicely off the back there by Pat Lamb, trying to play it on his own. He hasn't got the support of his forwards. Eventually is flicked up and ball lost to the ground. Picked up again by Falemu. Falemu takes it forward and then flicks it away. Picked up neatly back in there by Falonico. He's up towards the 10 metre line and taken to the ground and picked up easily in there by Seni. Moves it out wide. Dodging in, in and out is, is to Uvayenga. He's pulled down to the ground and they decided to make it onto the grandstand side of the field and pull back uh, for Ambasino. Runs into trouble as he slips to the ground. Smith greeted him with pleasure as back out it comes. Pat Lamb gets it away to, uh, it, it was out that time to uh, Tungamala. The referee said it was no advantage to Fiji. I'll take the scrum, he said. And with time showing on my clock, there's little likelihood of the game going for much longer. 60 points to nil, Fiji continue to lead Western Samoa and the incredible factor of it is that Fiji's line not crossed. And it comes 
And out onto the right flank. Neatly done onto Sarevi. He jinked his way through. A thrust back in field after his friend uh, Manasam Bari. Couldn't link it through. Western Samoa instead. Right up and after it was Rouse. He couldn't get through either. And out it comes this time. Onto Onohanga, who's been playing a great game for Samoa. He's caught as he tried to go through on his own. The rest of the Samoa forwards pour it over the top. Out it comes. A neat piece of work from Samoa. Replacements are on in a plenty. And they're trying to go through on their own. Back it comes once again, Samoa linking it up nicely, gives on to Falaniku that time, out it comes once again, Samoa continuing their drive forward, Fiji tending to be left behind, Joely standing up watching what's happening, goes back behind the line and out wide it goes. Samoa are three on two and they try to step inside, they're caught in position though and they can't get anywhere as uh, Talia took the wrong option, back it comes Samoa again, out and towards the, the grandstand side it comes, in the back line and across towards this uh, Onahanga again and he ran like a back for the moment but pulled into touch and uh, Ulunayal has uh, caught it into touch and there is Fiji has defeated Western Samoa by the biggest score that I can remember in the Pacific Three Nations tournament Fiji against what I would call the favourites for the tournament, Western Samoa, their experience not good enough, the rising stars of the Pacific coming back in strength and going from 33 points to nil at half time, taking victory in the end by 60 points to nil. They continued in the second half where they left off in the first half and logged up additional tries, one, two, three, four of them in the second half, several of them converted, and a wondrous effort from Fiji, with the crowd ecstatic at the performance of the side, the home team absolutely showered by uh, the children around the place, they want to get in to offer congratulations to their own team, and are completely surrounding, and with the rush made from the grandstand sideline, the rush of kids now comes from all... Wonderful handling, and it was the movement across by Sarevi. Sarevi making the space, and his double, and the decoy, Sale Saravaki on the outside, Nicky Little moving it straight across, and Fiji in in the corner. I see a Tuilevi taking it. He had no room to move in and did it so cleanly. And within a minute, Fiji leading Samoa by five points to nil. That brings about the Samoans on their part to have a chat. And here's Nicky Little, a metre outside the 22, a metre in from the uh, sideline. And uh, I see a Tuilevi one up to Fiji as we wait now for Nicky Little, very close to the site. There's not a breeze here on the National Stadium. It'll be all on his own metal. They're looking at it very carefully, but they turn it away. Fiji in the lead by five to nil. What a wonderful run. Nice piece of work. The decoy was there. The Samoans took the decoy, provided the space for Sarevi, coming in wide from the fullback berth, and as he did so, cleared it wide, and it was finished off brilliantly by Tulip. We have now, and uh, uh, bye bye, but it's a long kick taken by Smith. He's got room to work his way forward. Up he went, 10 metres outside the 22. Stand back, Samoa, said the referee, and Sarevi clears it towards the Grand Sand sideline. Driving Samoa back, an awkward kick. Will it get towards the touchline? Doesn't reach it. It's there to Messino. He's caught in position, though. He's got support. Manages to clear it away to Uvayenga. He sends a lob pass right across into the centre. It's a dangerous one, but infield then comes there, Pepe. He's caught and taken to the ground midway, 22 and halfway. Down on the ground it is, and Fiji's rummaging around it. No sign of it for the moment, and out it comes on the Samoan side. And here's Vabai, puts a long kick in, Sarevi coming across to cut it off, and slips to the ground, unable to cut it, and the ball into touch on the 22, goes back and recovers it himself, a long kick down there, Manasam Bari clears it back into touch, and the ball into touch, about uh, five metres inside the, the uh, Fiji half, on this grandstand sideline, and some good combination between Manasam Bari, Sort of that ball, getting into touch, and certainly took the pressure off the Fiji line by his having done so. Eddie O'Brien calling for the space down the centre of the line. As the Samoans curve away towards their side, at the front for Fiji. Intimidation, if you like. That they've prepared simultaneously. No, indeed. The Samoans waiting for the Thimby 
led by Joely Vaitayaki. Joely out there as he did so well in South Africa. The big, massive body of the King Country prop who played in the Super 12. And there it is, the Indy, and now the Western Samoa swings straight into action. Fatialofa, and it looks like Tuvaenga in the leading position. And Fatialofa is said to be leading the Samoans for the last occasion. Is out there. He was given the accorded uh, the privilege of being able to uh, enter the ground before any of the other players. And here we have it. Yes, Tuvaenga was out there as the other leader of the game and uh, other leader of their uh, war dance. And we wait now for the start of it to see the commencement of our game, Western Samoa versus Fiji in the series 1996. Uh, Waiting then, and it's Fiji to kick off. And as we saw in South Africa, it looks like Sarevi is going to be the man who will set the game in motion for Fiji, taking the kicks from halfway and at the 22. And here we have Sarevi taking the southern end of the ground at the center field. The referee, black jersey, Samoa in their blue, Fiji in their white jerseys, Sarevi with hand up, so too, Petty O'Brien. And there is the opening kick from Sarevi, and straight into it is the Samoans battle it backwards, taken back there by Pat Lamb in defence to start with, and the Fiji forwards pour through on top, and they're hunting for the ball, no sign of it coming out, and as Fiji takes the first scrum of the encounter, with the non-emergence of the ball, it was held in there by Samoa, they didn't use it, and Paddy O'Brien has offered it to Fiji, five metres inside the 22, and that's the 15 metre line from the grandstand side of the field, and this will be Sakofi Raluni to put it in for Fiji. And it goes, and hooked and held, Dan Rouse just holding it, controlling it at the back, rolling, he gets it and gets it away to Nicky Little. Nicky gets a double around and across, a double out wide. And good moving it out to Sarevi and onto the wings. And there goes 2 11, 2 11 And they haven't gone one minute. A beautiful piece of play, and the Samoans split aside right at the very beginning. Some more soon after the start. Again, a long kick from Faavai. It was a wrong kick from him, it was said. And... Goes uh, to Sarevi. Sarevi clears it towards touch. He doesn't find it into touch. A little bit of misunderstanding. That time Brian Lima puts a long kick in. It's allowed to go back towards the goal line. And back there shadowing it over the goal is uh, Sarevi. Sarevi playing with him, knowing he's had time. And Brian Lima was uh, forcing Sarevi to touch. A drop out 22. Sarevi brings it into the centre of field. And we wait for... Sarevi to set it alight again. Six minutes gone. Fiji 10, Western Samoa nil. And there is an, a, a, an unusual one, a, a deep one right down towards the 22. Taken back there. Farmasino comes up to the 10 metre line. A little chip kick over the top. It's taken in there by Tamani Valu. He swivel, swivels like the top to the ground. Sets it up nicely. Sakovi gets it. Gets it out onto the open side. A difficult one across there. Nicky wasn't, wasn't giving it neatly. Across to Manasam Bari. But knocked forward, said the referee, when Manasam went to pick it up first time. And back we come for the scrum. The scrum to go down four metres inside Fiji's territory and 15 in from the grandstand sideline. This will be halfback Joe Falimu to put it in. Tamara got it hooked. It's held at the back and onto the short side and an attack down there by Rouse. Rouse goes up after it and hesitates just the moment, but Vanessa Mbari is up there. Increases the pressure upon the Samoan defence and a race through there. A good effort from uh, 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 Dan Rouse, who managed to knock the uh, pass, uh, pass down, charge it down, and uh, Samoa back on their heels again after they've won that scrum. 10 metres inside the 22, grandstand side of the field, and it's Greg Smith to put the ball in. Speaking to the referee, and a little problem there. We notice at the front of Pelly, no to Ivao at the front for Fiji. Uh, Pelly, then Katalao at number two. Back at three is Joeli. Four is, is Efri Mitawaki. Dan behind him. And Dan lifts this uh, uh, Tawaki. And taken in by Sakovi. He goes and gives it straight out to Sarli. Sarli Saravaki's dodged.
charging. He's 10 metres out from the line. Ball lost to the ground and lost forward there, said the referee by Fiji. A nice break by Saleh Sarovaki. And Saleh was just crowded as he himself probably tripped to the ground. At number one jumper, number one right at the very front is Amori Katalao. And uh, the uh, high one and, and up high, Western Samar have got a clear filly move uh, 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 on. It goes that time to Leo Pepe up over the halfway line. He didn't cross his own advantage line, taken to the ground, picked up then by Sokovi. Sokovi on to Lawrence Little, get the, get, not to Lawrence, to Nicky Little. Down there goes 211, 211 going right for the corner. And a hurried uh, uh, race across there by Farmacino. Just managed to clear it into touch ahead of a flying Nandrangar 211. And uh, Tuelevu actually speeding down that sideline. One gave him no chance to have got up as far as he did. And uh, some more back on their own goal line again, right in the corner. Fiji on the attack, and it's Smith to throw in. Near the front, a difficult take for Fiji. Let's put it in again, said the referee. He wasn't satisfied they were ready for the line-out. And it'll go in once again. That'll be Smith once again to put it into the line-out for Fiji. And uh, an interesting one. One notes just how tall... The Samoans are, they've found tall men, and that's made a huge difference to the Samoan side. As in it comes into the line, up high, Cutlow gets it, and they go around the front, and a brilliant try! And around the front, Mark Black, Black got it, a beautiful one, a tap down near the front of the line, and Mark Black is the man who did it for Fiji, and... He did it, his army had time to raise his arm up high and slam it to the ground with joy and black the man who got that try. What a brilliant one from the front of the line, from a controlled take by Katalao and a nice piece of play at the front of that lineout has given Fiji the advantage of 10 points to nil. Nicky Little, a kick from pretty near the same position as where the last one was, a metre outside the 22, a metre in from the terrace side of the field, in front of that packed terrace behind. And we wait for Nicky Little to see if he can improve upon his last effort. Two tries, play gone, five minutes. Nicky Little lifts it this time, they're watching it carefully, they still flag it away, and it remains at 10 to nil. Five minutes into the game, and Fiji have blown Western Samoa's attempts out right at the very start of this game. The huge crowd at the back thrilled at the effort of uh, Fiji in their lead over Western Samoa and lost the ball forward and it's a Western Samoa put in defensively 10 metres out from the goal line. It'll be Phil Emu to put it in. He's got it in and it's overrun and ball comes to the ground and scrambled up by Fiji and then another try. No, the referee said too many hands on the ball. It was actually the ball that actually bounded off the, uh, the uh, post, the base of the post there. It was in no man's land and it became a free ball for Fiji to dive upon. And here we've got Fiji in a wonderful attacking position. I notice Mbari going on to the short side. In it comes and they go across to cover it though. And offside coming around too quickly and attacking Fiji was Western Samoa's Sokovi went together that ball. They were surrounding him and the penalty, and it will be a penalty shot at goal from straight in front. Fiji intent to make certain that they get points on the board against a Samoan side that at the moment is a, a little bit uh, upset. They're, they're obviously not found their gate, and at this stage, it's Fiji with great strength. That try at the opening, and now the first penalty to Nicky, the penalty scored in the ninth minute of play. Nine minutes and Fiji ahead by 13 points to nil. Penalty to Nicky. And so it's Fiji, Fiji, Fiji in the three opening scoring movements of the game so far. And there's another kick from Bye Bye. He's intent to put it into the centre field. Taken by Sarevi. Waste no time. Clears it back towards the grandstand sideline. And the ball bounds into touch. A high bouncing ball. And it finds touch 12 metres inside the Samoan territory. The game, all the game so far in the 10 minutes of it has been played in Samoan ground. With only the kickoffs entering Fiji's space. Leosa to put the ball in for Western Samoa. 
In it goes and up over it's tapped back neatly, nicely done there from Zene. And on wide to Uvanga, but he runs into trouble. They've got him and pulled him to the ground. Fiji surrounding it, but it's a penalty against Fiji. Hell ball in there, said the referee. We'll have the penalty to Western Samoa, where Fiji asked to go back 10 metres. And that is the description of the new rule given to us by Paddy O'Brien. The uh, defenders must be 